Hey YouTube, Navy98. I wanted to do a quick uh, review video of a bayonet that I recently purchased, actually a few months ago, uh, from Royal Tiger Imports. This is part of their Ethiopian cache that they brought into the country. They had a bunch of M1 uh, original World War II bayonets uh, that they imported in. Um, they were selling them for about $79, I believe. Um, and just checking the site today, they don't appear to have any more available. I'm not sure if they're going to have any in future shipments, but um, I did not have a World War II M1 bayonet for my M1. Uh, I do have one of the uh, Korean War or later model 1950s M5A1 bayonets. Um, and the M1 that I do have is a, is a Korean War dated rifle, but wanted to go ahead and get one of these. Um, $79 was a fairly decent price compared to what you find them uh, on the resale market. So this is what I got basically straight out of the box. You'll see the condition here. Um, there is some markings here on the scabbard. You will notice that the tip of the scabbard is broken off and in their description they did say that most of these had broken tips. So that was to be expected. Uh, I know some people did get ones that were complete, but I was not expecting uh, one that was complete. So that's not a big deal to me. When I display my rifles with the bayonets on them, I don't display them with the scabbard. So again, not a huge deal breaker in my opinion. Let's go ahead and see the condition there. There's definitely a bunch of surface rust and dirt that'll need to be cleaned off. Um, you do have the markings here. Uh, U.S. government property flaming bomb marking. And like I said, some, uh, I don't know if that was a rack number or some sort of uh, marking that the Eth Ethiopians put on afterwards. Looking at the other side, again, a little bit more paint markings here. Uh, and again, some dirt and grime and rust. Um, the lockup works just fine. I'll go ahead and take it out of the scabbard and show you what it looks like. So here's what it looks like out of the scabbard. Again, a bunch of surface rust. That'll clean off just fine. Uh, let's see, no markings, no visible markings on this side. There may be when I clean it up. And then going down the other side, um, you do see this is a, let's see if I can get that. It is a Utica cutlery and U.S. property marked on this side. This is the actual M1 bayonet and not one of the, with the 10 inch blade, not the earlier M1905 with the 16 inch blade. Um, also, you can see by the fuller here, this is not a cut down uh, M1905. So this is one of the M, uh, M1 bayonets. Um, so I believe Utica Cutlery uh, produced these between 1943 all the way up through the mid 50s for the Korean War. So, but this is likely a World War II model given the, the provenance uh, in Ethiopia. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and uh, get this cleaned up uh, using some oil and um, some bronze wool just to get all that corrosion off there. I'll go ahead and take the grips off. Um, take apart the catch mechanism and get, a, get that all cleaned and oiled up. And then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. All right, so I got it all cleaned up. Like I said, uh, just use some oil and some bronze wool and good old elbow grease and got it, got all that surface rust off. So there you go. Again, not much different here on the scabbard, but they get that surface rust here off uh, where the actual bayonet goes into the scabbard. And then here, the grips cleaned up rather nicely. I got these taken all apart, uh, cleaned up the, um, the latch mechanism, got that all oiled up and everything in there. So that all looks pretty good. There's a little, very tiny bit of the finish remaining. Go ahead and turn it on around the other side. Again, like I showed you before, it is a Utica Cutlery um, manufactured model. A 
So pretty happy with how that turned out. We'll go ahead and uh, put it on my M1 and see how it looks. All right, so here's my service grade uh, CMP M1 that I got uh, four or five years ago. Pretty nice little rifle. Again, it's a 1950s Korean War manufacturer. Go ahead and uh, stick the bayonet on this, see how, see how it fits and how it looks. All right. It's on there nicely, nice and smooth, getting it on there. A little wiggle there, but that's to be expected. Uh, so it looks pretty good. And I said I'm overall happy with that. Uh, keep an eye out on RTI if you're interested in one of these. Like I said, they're currently out of stock, but um, who knows if they're going to get any more in from the Ethiopian cash, uh, along with their other bayonets and rifles that they have offered. But I hope you liked the video. This is Navy 98 saying, go Navy.